Today's episode is brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real, everyday cruisers. Hey cruisers, if your cruise has a port call in the Florida Keys, you're in for a fun-filled adventure. Key West has plenty of activities you won't want to miss, from mellow to adventurous and everything in between. Here are some ways to make the most of your visit in Key West when your ship docks. Number one, renting a bicycle, moped, or golf cart is a great way to see the island on your own. You can feel the wind in your hair and get that blood pumping while checking out the waterfront, the charming city, or the streets of Old Town. Be sure to check out Hemingway's home, Fort Zachary, and the southernmost point. The southernmost point buoy is an anchored concrete buoy in Key West, marking the southernmost point in the continental United States. While it isn't technically the southernmost point in the U.S., the large red buoy is one of the most visited and photographed attractions in Key West. Number two, in Key West, it's customary to eat, drink, and shop your way through the island. Duval Street is a great place to start. Don't miss spots like Tropical Vibes for hand-rolled ice cream, Hawaiian shave ice, and acai bowls. Yum. Just look at this stuff. A pub crawl is another great way to experience Key West, enjoy local beers, and check out the sights at the same time. Talk about a win-win. Go for it. You're on vacation, right? Number three, how about a chauffeur for the day? No problem. A hop-on, hop-off trolley tour or train ride is an unbeatable way to explore Key West, especially for first-time visitors. You can see the major sights and comfort, then if you're up for exploring more, head back out and hit some of the highlights after you've seen what your options are. Number four, if you're looking for something a little more personal in Key West, you can hire a tour guide to show you around the island. Private guides offer a customized experience with a focus on history and the culture of the area. You'll feel like you're being guided through Key West with an old friend. A side benefit to tours like this is they allow for a more curated experience. Number five, if you want more adventure, the water activities offered on Key West like parasailing and snorkeling are amazing. While Key West may not be known for its beaches, frequent visitors to the island say a jet ski or wave runner tour is an excellent way to see the island from another perspective. And it's certainly something that we will consider when we visit. Talking about all of these fun things is making me want to visit Key West. We've just got to get down there soon. If you've visited the island and you've got tips on things to do in Key West, let us know in the comments below. We want to hear all about your favorite things to do. Okay, my friends, let's call this one done. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.